In this video, we'll embed a couple of videos in a Django project, and the result looks like this. There are four videos, two from YouTube and two from Vimeo, and they have the same look on the page. Okay, first of all, I have to create a basic Django project with one app and one template. Let's install Django. Now I want to create a Django project, let's say it'll be the embed video project. Then I want to create an app, let's say it'll be the videos app. Also let's apply migrations. And then let's append the installed apps list with our videos app. Now on the level of the manage.py file, I want to create a new templates directory to store my base template. Then let's create the base template HTML file in it and fill it with some content. Also, I want to add the bootstrap CSS styles. I need the get bootstrap.com. I'm copying the link and uh, paste it somewhere here. And uh, the basic bootstrap layout of the page will be something like this. I need the container and uh, the raw. I want to have the content centered. I need a margin from top at 5 and uh, I want to have the text centered. And uh, in the settings py file, I want to append the dares list of the templates list with uh, the path of templates directory. Then in the root URL spy file, I want to create a new URL pattern. And this pattern will use the URL spy file of the videos app. And to do it, I have to use the include function. Let's import it. Then in the videos app folder, I am creating a new URL spy file with almost the same content. And the handler of full requests to the root address will be, let's say, the index function that I have to import from the views py file. And the dot here means the current folder. So it was the road, and now I have to define the handler, the index view function. And in the views py file, I am defining the index function that gets the request object. And uh, this function will render the index HTML template. And now in the videos folder, let's create the templates folder and inside it the videos folder, where I want to have the index.html. In its turn, the index.html file extends the base.html. And now let's start the development server and look at our app. And we got the videos header. Nothing fancy. Now let's install the Django Embed Video app. Let's add it to the installed apps list. Embed Video. That's it. And now let's create a model to store data about our videos. In the videos app folder in the models py file, let's define a new model, the class video. It will have the title. It will have the added attribute. It'll be the daytime field. And the video model will also have the URL attribute that will be an instance of the embed video field class that I have to import. And then the URL attribute will be an instance of the embed video field class. Also, let's define the str method. 
that will return the title of the video. And also I want to order videos by their added field from newest to oldest, like in a blog. I need the meet the class and I have to set the order in attribute. Okay, it's done. And uh, I have to make migrations and uh, apply them. Then let's add the video to the Django admin. I need the admin py file. And uh, here I have to import the video class from the modules py file. Okay, let's create a super user and a couple of videos. And I have prepared two links. One is mine from YouTube and let's take a video from a Vimeo. OK. And now let's render them in the templates. But first of all, in the view spy file, let's import the video model. And in the index view, let's get them all, all videos. And accordingly, the context dictionary will have the video's key and uh, as the value, the video's key will get the video's variable. And then in the index.html file, I have to load all embedded video tags. And uh, the layout will be the following. I'm starting a for loop. Then I have to use the video tag of the Django embed video app. And uh, as an argument, it gets the URL of the video. So it has to be the item variable and its URL attribute, the attribute that was defined in our video class. And the size. Uh, there are some predefined sizes, but YouTube uses 16 to 9 aspect ratio for video thumbnails, and so I want to use the 426 to 240 resolution. And also, I want to have the title of the video on the page. Okay, let's look at it. Refresh the page, F5. OK, and we can see our videos, but it needs some structure. First of all, I want to have more space between videos. And so each video I want to wrap with a def tag. And this def will have horizontal paddings in three units and margin from bottom in five units. Again, a five. There is more space, OK. And now I want to have a video title under its video and I want to push it to the left side. And to do it, I have to wrap the title with a def with a deflex and justify content start CSS classes. Then I want to have videos aligned by two because only two videos are fit in a 10 column row. And to do it, I have to wrap all videos in a parent div with deflex and flex wrap classes. 
and that's it. It looks nice. But if you want to have a thumbnail in the admin panel, we have to use the admin video mixing in the admin pi file. So from embed video admin import admin video mixing. And then I have to define an admin video class that will be a subclass of the admin video mixing and uh, the modal admin classes. And now in the admin dashboard we can see the thumbnail of each video. So if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.